Well, now to the Eagles. Today, they could start making offers to players about joining the team, and today they signed a Lehigh Valley native and Penn State alum. Don Bell joins us now because <laughs> Saquon mm. Barkley Woo. will be an Eagle. A lot of people excited about yes. this. Very much so. And for good reason. Listen, it's a big blue brouhaha. <laughs> Giants legend Tiki Barber said on the radio with a grin, Saquon Barkley is dead to us. Barkley didn't take it as a joke. He tweeted, don't smile in my face when I see you. Here's why the two are beefing. The 27-year-old former Penn State star is leaving New York for Philadelphia. CBS Sports has confirmed that the Birds have signed Barkley to a three-year deal worth $37 million. It could reach 46. ESPN says the $15.8 million per season is the second highest ever for a running back. Barkley spent the first six seasons of his career with the New York football giants. Meanwhile, the pipeline from the Meadowlands to the link is clearly wide open. The Eagles have also signed Jets pass rusher Bryce Huff to a three year $51 million deal. Huff is 25 years old and had a career high 10 sacks last season. The birds are reportedly still listening to trade offers for defensive ends, Josh Sweat and Hassan Reddit. Free agent linebacker Zach Bond is coming to town on a one year deal. He has made 14 starts over the last four seasons for the New Orleans Saints. Bond was a third round pick in 2020. Lost in all the free agent news is the fact that the Eagles have made Landon Dickerson the highest paid guard in league history. He got a four year extension worth 87 million. So many moves, so many reactions. Our Alicia Roberts taking the pulse of the fans. While many are counting down to opening day baseball, fans here at PJ Wheelahan say the NFL's free agency is reason to get excited for football season early. As the NFL's free agency begins. My wife might not like it, but the, the season started already for me today. The Eagles have already made several moves that have fans buzzing, including agreeing to sign Saquon Barkley from the Giants. I'm loving it. Awesome player. I think that we can use him. He's going to be a weapon. He's going to be fantastic. Many say they're excited to see the Whitehall, Pennsylvania native and Penn State alum back home. I think it's just going to give him a little bit of spark. You know, he's got three more years left and I think he wants to win a championship because I don't think he has a chance to win in, uh, with the Giants. While some noted a bit of surprise in spending money on a running back with questions still unanswered about what the defense will look like and who will step up following the retirement of veterans Jason Kelsey and Fletcher Cox. They have a lot of running backs, so it was kind of strange that they went in that direction, but sometimes you wonder if it wasn't strategic because they were able to take them from their own division. Most agree Saquon is the splash GM Howie Roseman and the Eagles need to shake off 2023 and look ahead to more winning ways. Super Bowls are often won in the offseason and free agency in the draft is the start of it all. After free agency, the Eagles will have another chance to stack their 2024 roster when the NFL draft begins on April 25th. Alicia Roberts, CBS News, Philadelphia. Thanks, Alicia. These free agent moves cannot become official, official, official <laughs> until the new league year begins on Wednesday. That's when the Eagles will let us know that they made the moves. That exactly. That we've already right. reported on. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Very Love hearing from the fans. Yeah. It's good stuff. Thanks as always, DB. You got it.